Oh, hi there. This is Dr. Rich McLean and um, Crystal, the Husky. I changed my name to Baron Dodger after I was murdered. How do I say that? Because I suffered a fatal injury and I was revived from death. And um, I'm asking for help. It's brave to ask for help. People who ask for help should receive it. Unfortunately for me, that's been an impossibility as a targeted individual earmarked for destruction from the Australian government. Um, I suffer from schizophrenia and um, I hear voices, um, I read into things, um, my perceptions are sometimes a bit off. And um, sadly for me, when I wrote my book, Recovered Not Cured, A Journey Through Schizophrenia, and it was published and the Herald Sun vilified me and the age fired me illegally, that was the first detriment that I suffered as a public person with schizophrenia. There were many more to come. Over 25 years, my prosperity's been intentionally redacted from me in a malicious and snide way. Currently, I'm homeless. I've um, been excommunicated from the government. I've been forsaken by my family and friends who I love and miss. Um, unfortunately, um, the petty human judgment um, that's embedded in all people is flawed, <laughs> not divine beings, has um, excommunicated me from their lives. I'm too much of a true hard basket. Now, I love life. I love my dog. I want to do this. I've got a dream that I'm going to win this fight. And I'm asking for your help. Um, there's a few things about this. So I've got a pay ID below. You can pay ID me some money. I've just had to beg for money for a pie. It's really that grim. Um, since I was revived from death after my suicide attempt that happened inside a hospital, there was a whitewashing of my tragedy and now I have a brain impairment. Um, there's no compensation. In fact, um, I've never ever had a lawyer. I've been psychometrically profiled by the government and I've been locked out of, and isn't she beautiful? That's my, that's my God, Crystal. crystal. And um, um, I've been locked out of getting any lawyer, anytime, anywhere. Now, sadly for me, um, I'm not incapable. Um, this situation is not the result of a character flaw or weakness that I have. It is a designed, sustained, covert and malicious and highly intelligent um, movement in order to cause my absolute destruction. And now, as I'm a rejected whistleblower, open for political reprisals, um, some of the um, ministers who I can't name or else I'll go to jail, um, has colluded with police and the mental health sector, threatening with the incarceration. And I've been literally chased out of Victoria as an infamous vagrant and a fugitive, an innocent fugitive. These are police. These are people who should protect the public. I am the public, but I'm seen differently and I'm not treated equitably or fairly. And in fact, I'm discriminated against because I have a disability. And um, it, the victimization and the oppression is absolutely brutal. And there's a couple of parts, moving parts to this. My former partner, Stefan Isonides, was a multi-millionaire. I was engaged to him for five years and he worked first for Apple and then for ASIO, the Secret Service. And he's managed to manipulate an entire goddamn country to not even legitimize the evidence, which is that we were together, engaged to be married for five years. He exploited me earning 40 grand a month and I was on 400 a week on a disability pension. And um, he owes a fair equal settlement that is legally obliged um, under definitions of same-sex de facto relationships. Um, so um, no politician, no lawyer, no cop, no healthcare worker, no ombudsman, not even the Prime Minister himself, who I've got a letter from, um, will acknowledge or make a meaningful intervention in that family violence and coercive financial control. It is a brutal conspiracy and it's snide, it's um, sneaky and it devalues me, throws me into the bus, delegitimizes my evidence, um, silences my voice and it's been, I've been character assassinated 
to boot. So they've got, had me under surveillance and they've examined every part of my life and tried to exploit any known or potentially known vulnerability. And if they can frame me with something, taboo, whatever it takes, the government want to stop me. <coughs> and I need your help for me and Crystal to keep going because all I want to do is to live in a quiet house with food and medicine and um, a computer in a car and retire just um, by myself. I'm obliged to get those things as a disabled person in this country under the UN Charter of Human Rights for a person with a disability. The government are in clear breach of its obligations. Now, it's, well, I've got no civil liberties. I've got no access to the law. I've got no privacy. I've got no agency to enjoy my life. I've, I've, I've got, I'm under surveillance. People follow me. They are covert, intelligent government agents and they follow me through apps and around and they harass me, they intimidate me and it really is a brutal oppression. I'm in the fight of my life and no one really knows what's going on for me. Now, it is true that this is a violence of neglect. They're hoping to solicit my suicide out of desperation and it's come that close numerous times. They want to kill me. That's what they want. They want me to kill myself, but I've got my beautiful dog here, Crystal, and um, um, I've just got my sentience, that's about all I've got, and my wits about me to try and find a way out of this somewhere. Now, it is also a physically violent conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Um, I've been hospitalized eight times as a political prisoner, not so much for mental illness, but for silence me and stitching me up as a mad person when I speak the truth and I'm authentic and I'm direct and I know what I'm talking about and I'm consciously absolutely aware of what is happening for me and what the government has done to me. And um, while I was incarcerated getting care, they sent in a government contracted violent fucking thug to kick my ass inside the hospital. And this is all linked to the silence around Isonides and a very powerful lawyer, Russell Ball, who silenced evidence in a malpractice case. <laughs> As a rejected whistleblower, um, and who's worked up the chain, um, reverse engineering to the next place and the next place, from a small complaint that I had once, and then it just got exponentially bigger, and it got to a point of being so clusterfucked framed, so beyond comparison, so unimaginably um, corrupt, um, of dozens and dozens of public officials, all cops, all lawyers, all politicians, the ombudsman, the prime minister, family and friends. You know, I, I miss my friends. I miss having a beer. I miss going for a walk. I miss having a, a bed to sleep in. I miss having some food. I, I miss um, um, having a little bit of luxury and privilege in life. I've never had much and I've always survived on very little. I'm an artist of 30 years. And I'm an advocate, a mental health advocate, advocating for marginalised people and their carers with mental illness for 30 years independently and mostly out of altruism. When i am got a little bit of privilege, I use that privilege in order to help someone up. And you know what these politicians and lawyers and all these people do? They've got enormous amounts of privilege. They've got offices and clothes and food and human rights and legal rights. My human rights are documented as abused and the Australian Human Rights Commission won't even investigate and neither will the NDIS who is just another statutory agency who is keeping me in poverty and abusing me and refusing to acknowledge any other settlement which would uh, forsake the every need for me to be on the NDIS. They are the original gang stalkers and my victim, my, my oppressors, my perpetrators. Now it's systemic and political, like I'm banned at AFCA, I can't go to the Australian Horizon Commission. I don't get insurances. I don't get work cover. I don't get um, compensations. I don't get settlements. I don't get equality before the law. What I get is my business taken, my website ruined, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter taken, my Facebook, my, my phone hacked, my, um, my computer intercepted, my um, telecommunications intercepted, and um, my um, qualifications destroyed 
Um, I'm a doctor of philosophy and I have a master's of education and I'm not stupid. I know exactly about quantum intelligence beyond the event horizon and I know a whole lot of covert and highly um, 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 secret um, um, technology that they're now utilizing in order to gang stalk me, harass me, intimidate me and drive me to death. Now, that's why I say I'm a murder victim because this um, conspiracy to prevent the cause of justice is cruel. It has malice and it has ill intentions. It's not okay. I'm a human rights awarded author and advocate and artist of 30 years, and I helped tens of thousands of people on local, state, federal, even international levels. I've got a documentary made about my life. I've traveled the world. I am not incapable. This situation and my poverty is not the result of a character flaw, weakness, detriment, or failing on my behalf. It's because I had the urgency and the agency to speak truth to power and I pissed off powerful fucking people. Those powerful people are cowards acting with enormous privilege and money and power. And they orchestrate things from afar, do it silently, never identify themselves and get other pawns to do their bidding as narcissistic monkeys. Um, and this is why <laughs> most people are followers when you're a scapegoat as a targeted individual and they're happy to be ruled and influenced by whoever um, tells them what to do. I don't have an allegiance to the government, a religion, my family, a club, a sports, sports club, an organisation. I am the real, authentic deal of a sentient being who wishes no harm on anyone and commits to non-violence. And, but the violence in neglect and the imminent risk to my health, wealth, safety and life, which has sustained and been going for four long years as I battle this as a homeless person, has um, really been profoundly um, disorientating and it's, um, um, it's, 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 it has a malice that's beyond compare and I, I just can't compute it because everyone knows, everyone's in on it, everyone knows I'm struggling and failing and still people neglect to act. What I'm asking today, please viewers, is that you please, if you can't do it for me, do it for lovely Crystal in the back. She's my God and I want to live despite their best efforts to murder me again. I'm resilient. I'm a true speaker and a speaker, a seeker. And I'm, I'm, I'm aware and I'm intelligent. I'm my brain's a bit um, memory fart now because of the brain injury. But, um, but um, you know, I wouldn't be here. I deserve to be here. I deserve to have a home, food, medicine, all those things. I'm not perfect. I didn't say I was. But I'm opposed by enormous brutal that's the contrast of what opposes me there must be some divine shining light that's superhuman resilient and i often wonder <coughs> when i died in the hospital and they revived me from certain death that god didn't choose me for a purpose i believe i have a purpose everyone does it's just that mine is carved out um by in the in the impossible opposing of this federal conspiracy which has got all my social networks my professional networks i haven't got a person to call in the world will you please um listen to me i'm asking for help i need the help because i'm unable and it's impossible to be able to um confront this on my own i need the other humans. I love people. I've always loved people. Um, and um, I'm just asking for your compassion. Please be kind. Don't turn the other way. Because I whistle blue for the sake of my rights. And then it got, um, the, the, the height, it was heightened up. The, the, the um, stakes were heightened. And it become, it become for an ethical reason of democracy and humanity and kindness and of opposing evil and corruption. 
my stories below, I've put some um, evidence there that you can see. There's death threats from my former partner. That's not okay. There's a whole list of things I can't re report to the police, but they're happy to lock me up and criminalise me, run me out of the state, and then get the legal fraternity to have a hearing when I'm homeless in another state and um, create a, um, a warrant for my arrest so I can never go home to Victoria. This is a brutal oppression, victimisation. It's a conspiracy to prevent the of justice. It's unkind, it's cruel, because I was already a person who had suffered detriment and um, had suffered from schizophrenia and been brave and courageous about it. And they weaponized it, turned it against me. And now they're um, trying to exploit any weakness. You know, they, they, they throw libber, libel, slander. They will ruin me and stop me in any way possible. It's either jail, a psychiatric institution, death, or the slim chance at hope that me and Crystal will have a home. And one day, one day, it's been years, I'll be able to sit down with a friend and I'll, I'll be able to um, say, the light won. That's what won. I opposed it. And, and it's, it's tyranny and it's evil. It's gang stalking, it's malicious. We're gonna win or we're gonna die fighting this. Please help me oppose it. And um, donate below. Thank you very much. I love you.